Hi folks, welcome back for part two. Uh, so I was just in the middle of um, thanking Rene for telling me about Walt Whitman, I believe. And um, I did have a little question. Um, that passage that you mentioned um, about appreciating nature, was that a specific quote? Because I couldn't actually find it. Uh, or maybe it was just a general kind of vibe from... Um, the way he writes and the things he writes about. So if it was specific and you know where it's from, please tell me. Um, okay, so I've done this idea again of the little um, folios and I've used the Edith Holden background again, like so, and just added some writing paper on this time. That's a little vintage tea card and some little um, fussy cuts and bits. And there's another one on this side. Um, I ran out of room for doing the, the video all in once. So um, while it was uploading, I was just watching it because I always forget to mention at least one thing. The thing that I did forget to mention was about Margaret Tarrant, um, the artist that was uh, similar to... Um, the Barker flower fairies and what I meant, wanted to mention about her was that if you do use her be careful that the works are public domain because her lifespan um, crosses over the the usual 1923 um, date uh, which I, I do believe is different in most country in some countries but uh, 1923 applies to most um, so some of her works were before that and, and some came after. I think the flower fairy ones did come after that, so they're not public domain. Some of her earlier works are. Um, but that that particular image was just a page from a book, so um, different rules apply in that case. So you can't, you still obviously you can't copy um, pages or pictures. So that's what I wanted to mention and forgot. Okay, so here's a little um, machine stitching lines there and that's another envelope so some more um, collaging and stitching and some little scraps I'm really liking these envelopes I think I'll do these more, maybe do a set or something for the shop. Sorry. Okay, sorry, I think I forgot to turn off notifications. Um, why do I find these so complicated? There we are. Okay. I've done some more embroidery on this side. This is um, partly embroidery and partly just words cut out so that there's three words I think that I've done by hand and some little yeah. flowers with a nice quote I think that one was um, William Wordsworth again I've used these wildlife book pages to make um, two nice big envelopes and this is the old letter. I've just put a bit of lace to make it easier to pull out. And these pages I use because there's quite a few of the flowers and there's a little bee, some daisies, and um, this side too. And then this side I didn't care for much what was on that page, so I was looking for... Um, so I just paused for the noise one sec. Sorry. Uh, sorry, so um, I was looking for something to cover it and I found a little, lovely little poem by Robert Burns. I don't know if how familiar you are with him if you're not in Britain. He was, um, I think, Scotland, probably Scotland's most famous poet. He became the national poet for Scotland. 
and um, this one is called To a Mountain Daisy and it's really sweet. It's um, I think he treads on it or he, he mows it down or ploughs it up or something, the little daisy, and he's written a poem about it. Um, and then I was looking for, um, this is a little vintage postage stamp that I was sure that I had and I was pleased to be able to find it because that's um, Robbie Burns again and this is a little one about a mouse that I think he upsets the mouse's nest and um, it's really sweet he sounds like one of these very um, gentle souls that he was so upset that he had to write a poem about these things so he's a nice one to look up This one is a, an envelope again, and I've put, let's see, so an envelope like so, and then I've put a little lace pocket for a tag space on that side, and some machine embroidery on the um, page top and bottom. This is a pocket with that just opens like so, so the um, the top and bottom flaps stop the bits from falling out, and so you can just put some loose pieces in there, and that closes with a magnet. And this is a lovely poem that I've used before by John Clare. And let me just pause. Sorry, so many people moving about the house today. <laughs> um, so I wanted to tell you why I like John Clare. Um, and it's because um, I've never found poetry very easy to understand. And I find that um, for, for the most part, I have to really make a mental effort to understand what's being said. And Walt Whitman is a little bit like that. He kind of writes deeply and um, my brain is, is not always up to that. Um, I love Shakespeare, but for the same reason, um, I can only read a little bit at a time. Um, but John Clare was a very uneducated man and I think that it comes across in his work that it, it's very um, simple and almost naive and childlike. And this poem is really sweet. It's called First Love. This is my favourite one. And so just a little um, tip, I suppose, that if you're like me and you find poetry difficult sometimes, um, then he's a really good choice to have a look at. Um, and so I think that that is the end of the book, although there were, again, a couple of things that I wanted to uh, mention. That's my shop seal. Um what I forgot to say in part one was that with this issue about customs is that it's not an issue for Europe. So if you're a customer that's in Britain or Europe, um, then no problem. I can send you your your usual um, pressed flowers and bookmarks and journaling cards, etc. So that's absolutely fine. Um, and if anyone is affected that's not in Europe, then... Um, I will send you some pieces uh, later on if, if I find that I can, just so that you know that. Um, I do mention this in another video that will come in September, which I've already filmed. Um, so it's like, it's very confusing. It's like going back to the future sometimes. Um, but I realise, although I mention it then, some of you need to know about it now because you might be um, affected by it in your current orders um, rather than wait till later to tell you so that's that um, the other thing is that uh, you might have sensed that I'm a bit disjointed and fuzzy this morning um, I am I'm mentally tired at the moment and um, I think it comes across sometimes so I apologize if I'm if I'm a bit sounding a bit strange today um, once again I've been uh, probably two hours this morning with the camera uh, trying to get it to function properly um, 
I'm thinking about starting a new YouTube channel called My Continued Battle with Evil Technology because that's how I feel about technology at the moment. Um, every single week that I sit down to do a video, something different seems to go wrong. Um, so, just to bring you up to date, my plan is that I would love to improve the audio quality of the videos for you so that I know that some of you are having difficulty hearing what I'm saying. So I'm really sorry. Um, I'm filming currently on my smartphone and um, I was able to save up enough to buy a video camera um, which came a couple of weeks ago and we couldn't get it to do what we wanted and I've had male help so it's not just me <laughs> it went back to the nice people at Amazon um, and so we've gone to plan B which is to get a microphone for my um, current phone although that doesn't solve the storage issue that's another issue but I thought at least if I could improve the sound that would be good so this morning we've been trying to get the microphone to work that doesn't work either uh, so we think we need another cable so basically I'm filming today on the same way that I was before and that's why we've had to split into part one and two again so I'm really sorry um, I hope it doesn't spoil your enjoyment too much and that you can still at least visually see uh, what's going on. We're still working on it. I've enlisted help from husband and various sons. So um, I really hope that it will improve soon. Um, and I think that that is everything. Uh, I want to thank everybody for your patience and support and love and wishing you a lovely week. Bye, everyone.